Howdy guys, it's Joe here, and we've been playing the tank meta for an entire year. But finally, Overwatch and Blizzard team has decided to give us a bit of a break and finally nerf the tanks and the Ana. And the two tanks that they did nerf was Roadhog, Diva, and then the healer, Ana. Uh, now, before we get started, I do want to say this isn't quite as drastic as I was thinking. One of the characters is actually quite a bit, but the other one, maybe not quite as much. As well with this, I can't say this will kill the tank meta with these nerfs. Sure, it might hurt it quite a bit, but I'm sure we're still going to see quite a bit of those three tanks. Anyways, let's talk about what actually changed today. Now, the first thing that popped up on the change list is actually a big change to D.Va, and something that I wasn't really expecting. I was expecting the D.Va would get some kind of nerf, but this is actually pretty huge. Anyways, to the nerf itself, D.Va used to have 400 armor and 200 HP, and that's how she got her 600 health point type of thing. Uh, but they decided to change that now, so now she only has 200 armor and 400 HP, so they essentially swapped the armor and HP. And that's a really, really huge change. Now, to some people, that might not sound way too big. You know, she still has the same HP pool number, 600. But in general, this is one of the biggest things they could have actually done. Now, why is that? Well, it's because armor is just so much better than HP. For the fact that it blocks damage, and it is especially good versus multi-hit. And since the majority of the characters that kind of counter tanks right now, or are supposed to be countering tanks, are multi-hit characters or hit with multiple bullets at the same time, this really comes to be a very nice change. It should make so that she can be bursted a lot easier, and so that she just overall won't live nearly as long. Now, really some of the best ramifications of this is that, as well with all this, um, with the Ana healing, it won't be quite as good anymore. Because Ana healing on top of armor essentially made so that D.Va really couldn't take much damage when Ana had her E on her, but now that her armor kind of breaks really fast, if the enemy team can burst the armor and then get straight to the HP, well, Ana can't, you know, keep healing D.Va into our armor zone forever, and this will probably result to D.Va being able to tank a lot less damage and just getting bursted quite a bit faster. Still, if you can keep her always in her armor zone, it's pretty nice that she has that, but she should be bursted quite a bit faster, and now she's kind of more similar to Reinhardt. As well with this, the thing that I'm most excited about with this change is the fact that Reaper, Soldier, and really any character like that that has a lot of multi-hit, maybe Torb, can now do a lot more damage against D.Va. Armor blocks so much damage against multi-hit, since a shotgun hits, you know, like 16 times, well, she blocked like 16 damage and pretty much made the shotguns do really nothing against her, and she could 1v1 all these characters, really nothing that they could do against her, it was really quite dumb. But now that the majority of that armor is gone, or at least changed the HP, well, you still have to get to that initial armor, but once you're done with that, you can shoot that giant face hitbox and just shred through that HP a lot faster. It's probably the change I would have thought of myself, honestly. Really, just changing the HP and armor is a great idea. Now, what I could also see with this, though, is that maybe we actually might get to see a little bit of Winston right now. Especially because, along with this, D.Va did get a slight damage nerf. Now, she has a little bit better range now, but her damage is slightly lower, so maybe we'll get a tiny bit of Winston. On the other hand, though, Winston still might not just be as strong as D.Va. D.Va has a little bit more health, some more stuff that she could actually do, so we still might be seeing a lot of D.Va, but this is a good change in my opinion, because D.Va seemed to be one of those cornerstones of the strategy, so hopefully this fades away a little bit. Now we're off to the change on Anna, and honestly, Anna got a smaller nerf than I was initially expecting. I was one of the people that wanted a pretty big Anna nerf, shove her down in the meta just a little bit, maybe get some Zenyatta, maybe get some Mercy, of course we always have some Lucio, but maybe even some more Lucio, but I don't know exactly how much this change will actually do. So what actually is the change? Well, they decided to make so that the bonus heal that your E would give when you shot it at a teammate uh, was cut from 100% bonus heal to 50% bonus heal. And I do think that honestly, this was a pretty smart, slow change to the character. It's something that won't completely ruin her. Of course, removing 50% of her bonus heal is pretty bad, but I think she'll still be very playable as she is. The rest of her kit is just really honestly quite overloaded. She does a lot of damage, and even without that E bonus healing, her regular heal at 75 health per second, it's quite good enough for the majority of the situations. She's still the fastest healer in the game, she can still heal the most people at the furthest range, so she still does have quite a bit on the other people. Now, of course, with that said, this does do something, and I think mainly what it does is that it nerfs the tanks when they're just running up into the enemy's team, running face into them, and they're just kind of like standing there, and you know the diva that would just seem to be invincible as the ant is healing them. Well, this, along with the diva nerf, hopefully we'll remove that. It'll make so that her burst healing is a bit worse, and as well, it should just make so that overall, she can't protect her teammates quite as well with that E. Of course, removing quite a bit of healing from your tanks is a bit of a problem for the character, but I feel like the rest of her kit will kind of hold together and will still make her pretty strong. The only thing that might kind of ruin the tank meta is probably D.Va more than the Ana nerf, let's be real. 
Now, something I want to kind of say as a side note as well with this, I was really hoping that with the Ana nerf, they'd buff some of the other support heroes in one way or another, but unfortunately, none of the other supports are buffed, and I still feel like Ana is probably one of the strongest supports. If the tank meta does kind of get thrown out of the window, well, she's just going to do really well in an offense meta, where maybe removing 50% of the healing can kind of hurt her, but in two darts, you can pretty much fully heal anyone anyways, uh, even with your E on or off, so I don't think it'll matter way too much, especially when the tank meta dies. But yeah, that's at least all I'm going to say to you guys today about these changes. They are quite big, honestly, especially for D.Va. And on Ana, I feel like they could change up the meta just a tiny bit, but honestly, she's probably still going to be either the first best character in the game or the second best character. Now, as well with all of this, before we end, I do want to say this is on the PTR. This is tentative, and this can change at any time. Maybe a 200 armor D.Va is just way too weak, and she needs to go up to 300 armor, and maybe the Ana nerf is way bigger than I'm thinking, and she needs to get it buffed up to like 75%. We're really just going to have to wait for that and see how it works out in competitive and all that. And it might be changed before it even comes out to live, but that's all we can really say for now. Now, of course, there were a few other changes in this patch note. One of the main ones being that Roadhog's hook does have a huge rework, a huge overhaul right now. And now it's a lot more skill based, which could also hurt them tank meta just a tiny bit. But I feel like with his overall DPS, sustain and pick potential, he's still going to stay very strong if the tank meta still exists. And since he does never really way to rely on Anna in the first place to get his healing, well, he's probably going to do okay. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching up to this point. Now, one thing that I want to make sure that you guys do do is that if you do have any opinions about this patch note, make sure to tell me in the comment section down below. Do you think it was too harsh, too weak, or how is it going to change the meta? How do you guys think it's going to go over? As well, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, press subscribe, and press the bell button if you want to really subscribe. With all that said, though, thank you all for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.